I found Blender add ons that have literally saved me hundreds of hours, from effects, lighting, all the way to modeling. And to prove it, I'm gonna make an entire scene in under one minute with just these tools. Oh, it's taken forever, and it's huge. Oh man, I should not be doing this in rendered mode. <laughs> Oh my God. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later. Using add-ons are incredibly powerful because it saves you hours of work and makes the creative process a breeze. If you're making everything from scratch, what, what are you doing? So I've curated this list of add-ons into three levels to help you save a bunch of time. Bino, bino. Creating environments and building 3D sets is something everyone has to do at some point. And it can be a massive problem if you don't know what you're doing. But luckily, Polyhaven's Asset Browser is the solution. There are thousands of high quality, amazing CC0 assets here that you can search, drag, and drop into your scene. Instead of browsing Sketchfab, downloading, unzipping, importing, all of that is done for you with one click and it saves me so much time. But what's an environment without vegetation? Seriously, I'm asking what? what Botanic. Botanic is a massive library of high quality plant assets. This add-on is so powerful because it lets you create luscious, realistic environments quickly while also having a bunch of customization. For example, accurate seasonal control, easy scattering of objects, and one-click realistic animation. Population. This is one of the more cooler add-ons and it's relatively new. It's a full-fledged crowd simulation in Blender. Instead of packing your shot with mix of our characters and hoping nobody spots the obvious stock animation, this add-on does all of that for you. There's 48 high-poly character scans all in different styles and over 50 unique animations that can be applied to any of them. Not only that, but there's a free version of this available as well, if you want to give it a try. So we've got the foundations for building a world, but what do we do about the sky? Well, this is where cloudscapes come in. This add-on has over 390 hyper-realistic clouds to choose from, and it's as simple as drag and drop. But it doesn't just stop with clouds. They have smoke trails, explosions, even fireworks. Any kind of cloud you need, this add-on has it. Now, all of this is amazing, but it means nothing if we can't see. What do we do about lights? I'm about to bomb this whole motherfucking plane. Physical starlight and atmosphere. This add-on is a one-stop shop for any kind of sky environment. It's like a pre-built HDRI, but with almost infinite customization. You can create a harsh desert or a cool morning with just a few sliders. There's even a bunch of presets so you can quickly test out different lighting setups to help find the mood of your scene. Gobo's light textures. Adding realism to any scene is easily done with the right lighting setup. And this add-on does that flawlessly with over 100 different Gobos to choose from and a wide variety of animated presets. This is my go-to for quick and easy realism. I mean, just look at the difference this thing makes. Now, all of these add-ons are great, but I haven't actually shown you how this saves time. So I'm gonna challenge myself to make an entire scene in under one minute. Starting now. Okay, first I need a sky. And while Smith's making the perfect render with these add-ons. Okay. Easy. I want to tell you about Squarespace. <laughs> it's the best place to build your website. Let's scatter some plants on that. Epic. You don't need to worry about HTML or coding. Squarespace has you covered with loads of award-winning templates to choose from. Now I just need like Crystal Cliff. Oh, it's taken forever and it's huge. Designing your site is so easy using Squarespace's Fluid Engine system. You can drag, drop, and auto scale your images in seconds. I'm just gonna like throw two of these in. Oh man, I should not be doing this in rendered mode. <laughs> you can even sell products like this cool speed shirt with ease, as the production, inventory, and shipping are all handled for you. Okay, give me a chair. Oh, I have less than 30 seconds. Oh my God. Start a free trial today. And when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com forward slash to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just 
Just throw any cloud in there. Any cloud. Okay, that is time. I mean, honestly, for like a minute, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So we've made our environments, but now we need to texture them. What do we do about materials? Mom, is at the airport. Ducky 3D, real-time materials. If you are to procedural workflows but hate the node spaghetti, then this one is for you. There's over 290 procedural materials in this add-on, and it allows for a huge range of customization. From wood, cloth, paint, there's something for pretty much every model in here. Plus, you can easily change the design and style with just a few clicks. Jaders Plus. This add-on allows you to have real-time caustics, dispersion, and thin film effects. Instead of waiting minutes, sometimes hours, for your caustics to finish rendering, Shaders Plus has made it incredibly fast and intuitive, so you can see the results way faster. There's a bunch of presets and sliders to hone in the style that you want. But honestly, just having this as a better caustic solver is such a time saver. Play Doh. This add-on is my go-to for stylized work. It makes anything you apply to it look and feel like clay. And it's actually what Smeef is made out of. I love the tactile details like the cracks and fingerprints, but probably the best feature about this is the subtle stop-motion animation that's built into this. There's loads of presets to play with here, and honestly, for the price on this one, it's 100% worth it. So now we have all the basics to save time, but there's still one hidden level that takes the most time, and that is... <laughs> VFX in Blender can be some of the most challenging and time-consuming activities if you don't know what you're doing. So I found three really cool add-ons that do this all for you, and honestly, these alone have probably saved me over 100 hours. Southern Shotty Dynamic VFX. This add-on is hot off the press and comes with loads of amazing stylized VFX. There's explosions, cyclones, particle trails, and so much more. Not only that, but these are built with artists in mind. Instead of having a crazy geometry node set up, you can just drag and drop these into your scene and customize the effect with these easy to understand controls. It's amazing. What if you don't want stylized effects? Well, for that, we have RBD Labs. This add-on is like a fully-fledged VFX powerhouse. It lets you create high-detail, realistic ground destruction without chucking the performance of your PC. They're also releasing new modules like metal deformation, soft body, and fabric simulations. And it's all done using Blender's rigid body system. Live Paint Filter. This one is like magic, and it makes for such a satisfying result. Using this add-on, any model or render you have can instantly turn into a work of art and replicate that realistic paint effect. It's compatible with both Eevee and Cycles. Plus, you can use this with not only still images, but also animation. Now, I mentioned earlier how powerful using add-ons in your creative workflow can be, but there's something else I've been doing recently that's had an insane impact on my work in terms of animation. So check out this deep dive here where I show you exactly what it is and how you can use it to make your next animation 10 times easier. <laughs> 